I did it. 10,000 videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, that's right. 10,000 views. And it might not seem like a lot to some people. Because Rovandapar, Rovandipar, has over 2,020,000 videos on his YouTube channel. There's a couple of Doubt Nut. And with over like 1,059,000 views. And like Better Bandai has like 1,043,000 views. Where they quit uploading. And there's like YouTube channels like Top 20. Like, yeah, with deleted, that includes deleted channels and active channels. So, they active, and they have, and there's like, top 20 is like 500,000 or close to 500,000. Even if you do active channels, just us, like QVC is like 400,000. I don't know, it's like, like two, over two, like 250,000 views, but they, or there's YouTube channels that, don't have a lot of subscribers, but they have like 40, 50,000 videos, or there's YouTube channels that don't have a lot of views, like, like my channel, but, you know, has like 10,000 videos, or like 50,000 videos, or maybe they have like only like 500 subscribers, but they have like 20, 30, 40,000 views, you know? You know, I really don't care how many views I get, or subscribers I get, you know, you know? because... When I first started out, I was getting like absolutely zero views. I was pay cranking out content. I was getting like zero views, none whatsoever. And I just kept pushing through, pushing through, pushing through. And ended up getting some views and some subscribers. And I ended up working out. And I'm and 178 subscribers at the time I'm recording this, and I have almost 88,500 views. So, for probably close to 89, close to 89,000 once the YouTube total about page updates for today. About 89,000. So I have like about 8.9 views a video, which is not much, but you know what? I'm not doing this for the views, I'm not doing this for the scripts. I could quit and say, you know what, I have 10,000 views. I should be way more than 100 subscribers. Maybe I should, but you know what? It doesn't bother me one bit because, you know, why? I'm not doing this for subscribers. Not doing this for the views. Not doing this for the money. I mean, would it be awesome if I got monetized on YouTube? Yeah, sure it would, but I'm a long ways away from getting monetized. Because to get monetized on YouTube now, you just can't get monetized like right away. After some long time period of being on there, you have to have. You used to be able to get monetization right away on your channel, but now, in order to get monetization, you have to get a thousand subscribers and either four thousand hours of watch time on your channel, which I probably get the four thousand hours of watch time because I post so much content on YouTube, or 10 million, I think it's either 10 million or 100 million views in shorts, but, you know what, if I don't hit that for the shorts, for a while, it might take me, you know, say a 50,000 views, and I only have, say, 758 subscribers, it doesn't bother me. I'm going to check and get 100 subscribers. Which I'm saying 900, I think, for 50,000. So it might take like 55,000 views to get a thousand subscribers from the same check. Which, heck, doesn't bother me one bit, you know. I'm going to keep pranking content. Oh, regardless if I get view more views. Or subscribers, it doesn't bother me, you know. I'm just thankful for it. You know, at least the light of fans that subscribe and watch my videos. You know, I know they might have time to watch every single one of my videos, but you know, at least the ones they do have time to watch, you know, enjoy and they leave likes and comments. You know? It's awesome to see, you know. So.
in our story, I'm a, a propel video, propel peach review. This is turns in your MSM, 12% your day value, 35% vitamin C, 20% vitamin E, 8% niacin, 7% vitamin B6, 120% plantain acid for about per day. So, here's the 10,000 view videos. And now my next one is 20,000 videos. It's my next goal, so. Yeah, cheers. Cheers to 10,000. Uh, 10, and another 10,000 more. On my two. There's nothing more than budging you know. This propels open. This is your shoe and this is like it. I'm slowly losing a little bit of time. Yes. I guess I'm slowly budging a little bit less and less. Not budging as much as I used to budge. I guess it's helping a little bit. So. But, anyways. That's peach propel. Definitely tastes like peach. Definitely has a nice strong. Not a super strong peach flavor, but it's not like. Mm. Now that it's definitely there. It's definitely not like super super strong, but it's not definitely weak. It's not really weak. It's a nice perfect little flavor, I think. Then mix the peach with water taste. No, because it does taste a little, It does taste like water here and there. It does taste have a nice peach taste too, mostly. So, which is, which is what you know it's expected to have. But yeah, so. I give the peach propel probably a nine and a half out of ten. Probably a high nine and a half out of ten. I don't know if I can get up one ten out of ten, but I'll give it a high nine and a half out of ten. Mild ten out of ten. Somewhere in between there. So it's pretty solid, so then they pick this up in your local gas station, try it, or when cheaper, pick up at Walmart, Target, Amazon, you know, like Food Share Joe's, any store that sells this. Then we recommend getting it. Either in a single box, they just have the single box to try it, or if you want to buy like a big pack of it, like a four pack, six pack of this. I would definitely recommend getting in the packs. If you try one, if you like it. Because I would definitely recommend getting in the packs. So. Judge it for yourself, though. So, until next time, take care.